Hey, what's up, everybody? It's BDF 44. Living through the longest off-season in NBA basketball in the history of my life. I've been watching basketball all my life, and I do not remember an off-season dragging out this much. This is this feels like it's going on like six months, honestly. But I ain't come here to complain. I came here to talk about my change of heart in regards to Chris Paul leaving OKC. I've made several videos about it. And I was listening to a conversation this morning, and basically, uh, you know, what was said was CP3 was considering going to the Miami Heat if, they, if the Heat would take him, but he'll have to leave like $44 million on the table to assure that that takes place. And I've been thinking for the longest, you know, obviously for OKC, from, from, from the front office standpoint, they need to get rid of CP3's contract. So this is not an opinion on what they should do. But in terms of what CP3 should want, if you're not winning anyway, look, if you're not going to one of the L.A. teams, if you're not finding yourself in Philly, if you're not finding yourself in Milwaukee, if you're not finding yourself in Houston again, although that doesn't really fit anymore. But I'm just saying, if you're not going to play for a team that has championship aspirations, uh, leaving money on the table doesn't make any sense to me if I'm CP3. Now, I know Oklahoma City may not be the most comfortable place to live, but what we have to understand is that CP3 has been there before. When New Orleans... Uh, Katrina situation took place the Hornets were displaced to OKC for a season. CP3 was on that team. He's already been there. He, he lived there for a year with his, in his basketball career and it worked out just fine. He had a good season that year. So from my perspective, staying in OKC is not a bad thing for a guy like Chris Paul when you're considering what his other options are. He has an, a, a huge contract uh, his his only real option is to go to Miami, which in some ways is a lateral move basketball wise. Even though obviously Miami is going to be a more uh, appealing place for him to live. At the end of the day, and this made a lot of sense when I heard Lonzo Ball say it. But you're in the NBA, you're going to be away from home more than half of the the season anyway. And in the off season, you go wherever you want because you're a rich person. You can do that. So really, where your team's home is only matters as it pertains to being there for practice living there more or less half of your season and the rest is just you being on planes and living in hotels and so like it's, it's almost like a fallacy when you consider the bigger picture as it pertains to the schedules of these athletes when they're playing for, in the NBA so it's like okay it's not that bad be in OKC it's not and, and I got family from Oklahoma I've I've been there many times I like it but it's just not a whole lot going on there so being from the big city I don't think I'd like living there but you know, it's good people out there. It's it's decent weather. The weather's pretty good when the when the uh, elements are coming at you. So I mean, like, it's not like you're going somewhere where it's like a cold weather state for the most part. You know, you're not. It's cold, but it's not like that all year long. You're gonna have some really good seasons. So it's like, yeah, man, just stick around in OKC for a season. See what they can do. Help them build along their young guards because they have several of them. Um, and uh, to keep your money. That's the basis of the conversation. Now, if he could go to Miami without giving up money then of course you go to Miami but um, if you have to leave 44 million dollars on the table and you're going somewhere where they don't have championship aspirations either it just doesn't make any sense I think Miami at this point is just a t team kind of circling the bottom of the barrel in the Eastern Conference I don't see playoffs in their in their future I think they're looking at that uh, first pick in the draft if, if I'm being completely honest now I know they got a couple players that they could be excited about Jimmy Butler's on board Bam out of bios now moving into a, a, a starting center position, so there's going to be room for, for, for success. But in reality, if I'm Miami, I don't want to get better. I want to get draft picks. I want to have a chance at this Lamelo Ball kid or somebody one of the dudes at the top of that draft. So I, I don't really know if Miami should consider bringing in CP3 to try to be a win now team in the Eastern Conference just to get knocked off by Miami or Philly anyway. They're not. They're not going to do anything if they get CP3, especially if they have to give up anything to get them. So, yeah, not not in love with the idea of CP3 giving up money to go to Miami. Now, if somebody say, hey, give up 44 to get back, go back to the Clippers and win a championship, yeah, you, you think about that. Go to the Lakers, play with LeBron, try to win a championship, yeah, you do that. Go to Philly, yeah, you do that. But other than that, if it's not a contender, don't. I wouldn't leave any money on, on the table if I'm CP3, not at all. So, uh, yeah, that's what I have to say about that. And I uh, hope everybody's enjoying themselves. I'm enjoying myself. Nothing new going on. Uh, other than I did get my car. I finally got my car. Very, very excited about it. So, yeah. Thank God for that. And uh, 
Thank you guys for watching. Can't wait for the season to begin. This is taking forever. Peace.